they started to prepare for opposition, Mr Speaker. And this week, at the National Conservative Conference, a member for Devisers blamed the country's problems on a new religion. He even hit out at the dystopian fantasy of John Lennon. The member for Pentastone and Stockbridge said identifying falling birthing rates is the overarching threat to the UK. She criticised woke well, teaching in for destroying children's souls and causing self-harm and suicide among people. And the right honourable member for North East Somerset really let the cat out the bag when he said parties that try to gerrymander end up finding their clever schemes come back to bite them, as dare I said we found when in this, in, insisting on voter ID. The right honourable gentleman opposite, while working in number 10, said he had to listen to the radio every morning to find out what was really going on in the country. Apparently, he was surprised on a daily basis by what he learned, and most of his time was spent on day-to-day crisis management. Eleven years on, Mr Speaker, nothing has changed. I'm not quite sure what the question was then, Mr Speaker. But uh, if she wants to talk about this, all this sort of thing, we all know what's going on with her and her leader. It's all lovey-dovey on the surface. They turn it on for the cameras, but as soon as they're off, it's a different story. They're at each other's throats. Mr Speaker, they're the Phil and Holly of British politics. Deputy Leader. 